Um, it's okay to not be okay. And that is such a generic saying, but it's, some, it's something that's very hard to like comprehend and like actually feel like we know winter is almost over and that's like the time period of like seasonal depression, sadness, just extra sleep, cold, you wanna be inside, wanna be in the blankets, you know? And gives us a lot of like time to be reflective and contemplative. I'm sorry, my face is really bright. Look at this skin. Mm. Yeah, everyone gets sad. Everyone feels anger. Oh my God, the sun is really bright right now. Mm. Come on, get into it. Sometimes we get so sucked up into like our depressive state, our anger. It's one thing to feel them and to be okay with us feeling those feelings and accepting it because we're not just supposed to be happy all the time, right? And the sun is really, yeah. We almost lay off look at the skin. Mm. We always try to think positive and kind of shun and like, kind of, what is it? We kind of put too much pressure on ourselves to be happy and to feel positive things. So when we feel negative, feel sad, feel angry, we kind of like try to force ourselves out of that state as quickly as we can, which is not like, which is not like, mm. that's not, self-love because that means we're not accepting all of the parts of ourselves all of the human parts of ourselves and it's not fair to ourselves it's not fair to us for us to be doing that and sometimes we you know allow and accept ourselves to feel the pain the pain the pain the sadness the hate the anger whatever but then when we stay in that state too long that's when we start getting a little resentful towards ourselves. That's when we're like, why am I still like this? What is wrong with me? What is wrong with them? If they did this, I'd feel better. If they treated me better, I'd feel better. Why am I in this state? Why, why me, why me? But it's all understandable. I know it sounds like the quote unquote victim mentality, but it's understandable and valid to feel that way, you know? And I guess with the generic, but very true statement of it's okay to not be okay. It's really us not accepting that statement. And that's the reason why we like get stuck in that space for too long of depression and not even de depression, but like depressive states rather than the actual, you know, depression itself. I mean, just like sad states where you're in like a, Ang maybe if you're angry for a couple of weeks or like in a certain state of mind rather than depression that's totally different you can feel depressed but it's not like a like depression in its entirety so i guess and when we get in those states and we stay there a little too long we like dwell on the past a little too long if we just keep just replaying replaying the situation and the pain over and over we just don't allow ourselves to be like, hey, or we don't, we don't tell ourselves that it's okay to feel that way and like validate it rather than, rather than validating, we just ruminate on the pain and the hap like whatever happened rather than like, okay, this is what happened. Let's, it hurts a lot. Let's cope. Let's tend to ourselves. But no, we just kind of keep replaying it, replaying it, dwelling, just doing things that aren't helpful. So if we really just embody like that, it's okay to not be okay. It's okay to be angry. It's okay to be really, really sad. It's okay to feel whatever you're feeling, but just like love yourself enough to feel those things. And then when it's time to let it go or do your best to let it go, because letting go is a very extremely hard thing to do. So I think if you at least try and like have this, like desire to let go, that's like the, the most amazing first step. And that will be 
all the me momentum you need to like let go is if you like have a really strong desire and love for yourself that you want to let go of the state you were in for entirely too long so short message it's okay to be okay short message it's okay not to be okay and you'll be okay thank you for watching